Welcome to the Pro Kitchen User Shapes tutorial. User Shapes are flexible floor and wall shapes that are completely customizable and can be used to create elements like soffits or bulkheads, glass panels, shower niches, shower and bathtub tile wraps, coffered ceiling, tray ceilings, and much, much more. So in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to use each user shape to create a few of the more common room elements. To get started, User shapes can be found in Pro Kitchen's Architectural Elements catalog, the same catalog that you use to select your doors and windows. You can access the user shapes by opening the Architectural Elements catalog in your catalog panel or by simply selecting the doors or windows icons from the top and the user shapes are the very first subfolder in the Architectural Elements catalog tree. Wall user shapes can be placed on the surface of a wall and can be moved up or down in elevation. Floor user shapes can be placed on the floor and can be moved in or out or up or down in elevation. To place a user shape, simply click, drag, and drop it to your floor plan and move it into the desired position. Once placed, the user shape can be edited in a couple of different ways. First, you can right-click and open its toolbox and use its tools to drag the user shape left or right according to its wall zone placement and using the info panel to reposition it. Rotate the user shape either using your mouse and the info panel to type in the rotation angle. Up down to move the user shape up or down in elevation using the info panel. Copy to copy and paste the user shape to create exact duplicates. Delete to delete the selected user shape. And edit and attributes lets you make advanced modifications to the dimensions and appearance of the user shape. Edit We'll put the user shape in edit mode and let you adjust its dimensions by moving the position of its corners and edges just like a backsplash or countertop in Pro Kitchen. Clicking on a radius point or a line in edit mode will let you freely move it to create unique shapes to fill certain niches. Right-clicking directly on a radius point or edge line will open a toolbox of advanced editing tools. Advanced radius point tools let you create notched, rounded, and bevel corners and also lets you move or delete the selected point. Advanced line edge tools let you extrude or intersect the line, add a radius point, and transform the selected edge line into a radius end. The user shapes attributes lets you edit the shape's width, depth, and height, and also lets you give the shape a plan notation to stay organized. The texture tab in the attributes lets you select a certain texture for the user shape. You can select a specific wood type, select a non-wood and use Pro Kitchen's textures catalogs, or you can simply select Match Catalog or As Countertop to apply your previously set cabinet finish texture or your countertop texture to the user shape. The cabinet finish texture is set in your global specifications and your countertop texture is set under the Textures tab in your design settings. At the bottom of the attributes, you can also change the transparency of the user shape to create see-through textures for materials like glass, like the glass panel displayed in this design, for example. And that's all there is to it. It's simply a matter of editing the user shape to your unique elements dimensions, position, and texture, and then moving it up, down, left, or right in elevation. For a shower niche, you would first place a freeform wall opening on your wall to create the niche. Then, you can use two floor user shapes to create the back and ledge of the niche. Floor user shapes have an additional toolbox tool, In or Out, 
and it lets you move the user shape in or out from a wall, which is what we'll need to cover the back part of the wall opening in the shower niche. Place the floor user shape below your freeform wall opening and then set its dimensions according to the size of the wall opening and its textures in the attribute dialog box. Now, move the user shape up in elevation according to your freeform wall opening and then use the in out tool to move it back into the opening. Next, grab another floor user shape to create a ledge for the niche. Again, place the floor user shape below your freeform wall opening and then set its dimensions and texture accordingly using its attributes. Then move it up in elevation and use in out to position it inside of the wall opening. Now you can check out your work in 3D to inspect for further modifications. Floor user shapes are also good for creating soffits or bulkheads along with tray or coffered ceilings. Again, start by placing the user shape on the floor and then use its attributes to set its dimensions and texture accordingly. Then you can use the edit and copy tool to create the unique shape of these elements. Extrude to extrude the edges and create central openings and delete additional and unnecessary radius points to ensure the straight edges. Then simply use the up down tool to move the floor user shape up to the ceiling, typing in the exact measurement from the top or bottom in the info panel and hitting the enter key on your keyboard to place it at that exact position. You can use the copy tool to copy and paste your user shape to easily create staggered or layered effects for certain coffered ceiling styles. Wall user shapes are good to use when creating unique wall elements like wrapping tile around shower and bathtubs or secondary backsplashes, etc. Simply place your wall user shape on the wall desired and then use its attributes and edit tool to modify the appearance and dimensions to fit your unique area. And there you have it, a basic tutorial demonstrating how to work with Pro Kitchen user shapes. What kind of room elements can you create with the user shapes?